I am starting this series off with a comic that you all probably know of and are quite familiar with it, and good, probably. It is Foxtrot by Bill Amant. Before I explain why Foxtrot is a webcomic and why it is included in a webcomic series, let's go into some background information about it. Foxtrot is a comic about the Fox family and their hijinks and experiences they live through with their family dynamic with Jason, a young nerd, Paige, a sulky teenage girl, and Peter, a bombless pit teenage boy in high school. Bill Amant has built up a large volume of work with several print volumes published between the strips beginning in 1988 and currently, since it's still in being created every week, and not only addressing uh, topics of geeky and nerdiness through Jason, but also parents have you deal with three children in, of what I, of everything that they've done. Take a look through some of the volumes and archives that is online. It's I feel for their parents. I recommend this comic to those who enjoy a sitcom with the with all of these different characters interacting with each other in quite humorous situations. And it really does represent the classic newspaper strip format of just the setup and then the gag. It also has a long almost 30 year archive of comics that is available on the internet one place or another and is still updating every Sunday will be a new strip that you can enjoy just the same as those 30 years ago. Bill Amend is a webcomic artist in both a literal and cultural sense since his community is what provides his income around his webcomic to keep producing it. He gets revenue from those who visit his website from the ads around around it, just like probably around this video. Because he is a webcomic artist, it means that I can be on the same level as Bill Mend in a sense. I can post a comic online, on the web, I'm a webcomic artist, the same as Bill Mend, the creator of Foxtrot. Does that mean it is comparable? Hell no, it's Foxtrot. He has inspired a generation of nerds and contributed to pop culture that at times he makes fun of in very, very funny ways. He's also given back by contributing to webcomics like XKCD with guest strips and others that I have not found yet and other parts of the community that he interacts with since he has his own Twitter, he has his own Facebook, he has his own website. He is online as his income and he is a literal and he is a webcomic artist. Between now and 30 years ago when Bill Amend started, the gatekeepers of the comics industry have disappeared. Yes, there is still a small barrier of entry where you have to be able to afford internet, but in most cases that should is not an issue. I can still go to the comic shop and look at superheroes and villains and see this classic struggle that may everyone can relate to in some way. Or I can go home and look up niche content of that appeals to a specific interest. Really, I feel that the only person who can say no to your ideas anymore is the one making them. You. Not only as a comic nerd, I love comics, but now I have a wide variety of li on my list because of how many are out there. Not all of them are good, but some of them are freaking amazing. I hope I get to help you pick some good choices.